Morning with the Knuckleheads. The baby tiger and Trotsky. You guys already got your food out there. You always want more. Always want more. <laughs> These guys are getting kind of frisky. The kitten's on the way. I don't know. <laughs> what poor Rosie needs. That's all we need. I don't know if Trotsky's Trotskina or not. <laughs> the Russian gray out there is looking a little um, hefty there. I'm starting to wonder. I was like, oh, geez. You know, are we in a family way, right? We loved a little too well out there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good morning, guys. It is the uh, 20, I think it's the 24th of uh, January 2023, and welcome to all of you. Yes, we always have such a great time with Trotsky and Baby Tiger and the crew out there. I don't know what it is. These two out here, and if you're a cat lover, I'm just fair with that. If you're a cat hater, just hang in there. It's, we got stuff for you, too. But it's really like these two, they hang tight together, and these two are really the two that are around all during the day. You never see baby socks, or Lenin, or Mama Mama Cat, or any of the other ones here in the uh, daytime. They just come around at nighttime. But these two seem to be um, bound and determined to be the uh to be the rancho cat couple here and i hope your day is off to a good start and if you're not subscribed please take a minute to subscribe hit the bell for all notifications uh we've been having a lot of fun lately for those of you who didn't check it yeah i know i'm look i'm thinking about spring and summer so i wanted to get myself into a psychological spring and summer mood this morning so here we go plus I treated myself to a little bit of heat today, so why not take advantage of it? But for those of you who did not see the overnighter at the Boston Janice, check it out. And Bobby's a good sport. You know, we, we thought we'd have to cut Bobby out of the seatbelt. <laughs> New technology and Bobby just just don't go just don't go together. I think Bobby has an old projector TV. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that heat on, Bobby, you cheap bastard. <laughs> it's freezing. It's like, I liked one of my wonderful subscribers. She's like, I didn't work my whole life to freeze my ass off when I'm, <laughs> when I'm older. So I'm going to be turning the uh, turning the heat on. What do you think? It's nice. Uh, it's a good, good, good classic cocktail party look here. Ready for the red carpet. Um, it is... Uh, Tuesday, we did, to, for those of you who didn't see it on the Rosie Murphy channel, and some people saw the little short that was put up about making the chicken card cordon blue, and it turned out amazingly, amazingly well. It's not the most difficult dish in the world to make, but to do it on an unregulated barbecue grill where you really can't control the temperature too well, I think it, for... For what it was, it turned out to be uh, quite delicious. So if you want to see the real-time making of it, you cut over to the Rosie Murphy channel there where you can see yesterday's live stream. We were out on the street having some fun and then came back and did the uh, chicken cordon blue. I think it's quite, it's quite fun to push yourself and uh, just imagine what you could do in a temperature-controlled kitchen where you're not freezing, it's not raining, where the tent's not ripping up and flying <laughs> while well, all over the place, and we're still kicking out good meals there, unbelievably. Um, I'm still kind of torn on Vegas. I'm trying to put a few dollars into uh, my pocket here uh, before doing that. I did order the uh, carburetor came for the uh, generator. And I th as I said before, I think it's going to be very important. It's a replacement carb for that. It's going to be very important to um, be able to be somewhat self-sufficient, and I think, in the future. And I think it it is smart, you know, if you can pick up a generator, even for temporary power, it's a nice, gives you a nice sense of comfort that... Uh, 
you can run your things that urgently need refrigerators and uh, freezers. You might have a lot of, you might have a whole half a side of beef. And some jerk takes out the power grid in your area with a couple shotgun blasts and you might be down for a while on that. You never know. I mean, we see all the kooky stuff that's going on in the world now. So Vegas will be uh, next up. There's some more stuff that I want to do down there. I think if I hold off, to, I think Monday, I think Monday's the first or Wednesday's the first. I think Wednesday is the, I'm not sure what day the first of February is. It would be next Tuesday, I don't know, next Tuesday or whatever. I pick up my concealed carry uh, permit. And that but night might be a good time to take off because I know uh, there's a couple of people that indicated they're going to be in Vegas during that time that I would like to meet that I've been friends with for a while. And that could be uh, that could be a fun meet up and also uh, hang out with Mr. Z and see uh, Monkey Boy and keep some fun content going. I do like to go down there at least ooh, every every eight weeks or so i do enjoy going down there it's fun to see the changes it's fun to see the new stuff that's opening up and it's fun to walk the um it's fun to walk downtown and it's fun to walk the strip i know there's been uh shooting and violence and stuff like that but uh, welcome to america in 2023 So I think if I don't do that, I'm going to, uh, at least for today, I think I'm going to do a little bit of uh, metal detecting. I hit that area downtown where we were walking through on the Rosie Murphy channel for the live stream. And I thought that that might be a good area to swing the detector near core downtown. There's a nice spot of green. It's like pretty much wide open and it could be, uh, could be a, uh, could yield a few decent finds. You never know, or it might be nothing. It doesn't seem like that kind of place that um, a lot of people, I've probably, nobody's metal detected that uh, before. So, this knock on wood, things are pretty good. I've got all the computer problems seem to have been solved. I've donated a lot of stuff around here. I still have more things to do. I think about the back behind the kitchen here and the uh, utility uh, you know, where the washer dryer and the pantry is. And I think to myself, man, how nice would it be to push the back of this house out about 20, about 20 more feet out the back. So it's literally like maybe, uh, maybe 10 feet, uh, maybe 12 feet from the shine shack there. Right? And just have a, uh, on the fence side, have a nice, master suite there with a bath and then have glass wall front of the bedroom there and then you come over here uh, you have an, a kitchen and a utility room that's very expanded out the uh, back here and it I know it looks more and more like a compound and things like that but um, you know it, it, it's something that I've always thought about for the uh, for the future I just don't have a hundred thousand <laughs> have to go up to go have to go out there and start doing it myself right dynamite all the planter box you guys know that's not going to happen but i can dream uh about things that uh, they might be here because uh, frankly i have to keep getting rid of stuff here to make sure that I have enough room to function here. Because even though the property size is very large with the land, what you guys don't know, it's called a California four, four room when it has a, a front bedroom, back bedroom with a bathroom in between. And then you have just this living room here. There was no hallway when I first got it. I put that up with the closet and everything. And then you had the kitchen, so it was literally it's Cal called a California uh, four, four room. So there's not a ton of stuff, and you know my philosophy is, if you the more room that you build for yourself, the more you feel like you got to fill it up with things. And I'm not at that point in life where I think I want to do that. So 
I find myself trying to keep working down and down and down and down on the things that uh, I do have have here. So I like to keep stuff simple as I am going forward. So uh, I opened the canned peaches have been wonderful. Right, nice segue there. I, I canned the peaches last year and I might throw them into a, a single waffle today. I also have going to be doing the full video of, uh, it's not super long, but the review of uh, Mimosa, Cafe Mimosa yesterday and my breakfast. Any of you saw the little shorty? I had the little shorty on the biscuits and gravy, which were fantastic. They're very unusual because it wasn't a biscuit per se. It was a, a little bit different. Um, it was wonderful. So I got that review coming up too. But let me tell you, we have to watch our figures, right? Before you know it. The season will be here. I'm going to go ahead and close it out this morning and get my day further underway here. Once again, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for all notifications. Share out the video if you enjoy what we do here on not only this channel, but the Rosie Murphy channel. Let your friends know, too, that, uh, especially at night times with our streams and then our streams on uh, Friday and Sunday night on here. We always have a great time challenging myself in Kitchen Stadium, having fun and enjoying our live streams and the recorded content. So please share it out. All right. So in closing, thumbs up are appreciated. And uh, thanks so much for watching.